Aren't you confused in finding the best gaming ROM for your smartphone? Then Havoc OS 3.1 is the one you must give it a shot. Recently, Havoc OS developers released a version 3.1 for Poco F1, Redmi K20 Pro, and some OnePlus devices, which improves performance to some extent. Currently, it is the most stable Android 10 custom ROM, which primarily focuses on stability, performance, and gaming. Now before talking about this ROM, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. As we all know, this ROM is based on stable Android 10, which brings the fastest Android 10 user experience. Now out of the box, this ROM comes with all new Pixel Launcher, which is super refined. It comes with the default app drawer that can be accessed by swiping up from the bottom, just like that. Now swiping to the right from the home screen lets you view the Google Cards. The all new Android 10 brings some brand new features to the system, which helps in customizing the phone in a much easier way. Like other ROMs, Havoc OS provides a pixel for live wallpapers, and these are motion live wallpapers which can dynamically change the way of looks based on the system themes. Now when it comes to system level customization, Havoc OS provides a separate section named Configuration Center which is present within the settings. Now using these settings, you can customize the UI elements on the lock screen. There are tons of options you can walk through that provides a seamless customization than any other Android 10 custom ROM. For example, double tapping from the lock screen wakes up the system and waving your hands on the top of the notch space wakes the phone up and reveals the time and notification icons. Now speaking about gestures, Havoc OS supports the Android 10 navigation gestures which replaces the traditional software keys. These navigation gestures are more stable which won't generate any lag or hiccups. Now keep in mind these navigation gestures only work better with the stock Pixel launcher. Some third body app launchers do support Android 10 navigation gestures but it's not as fluid as compared to stock Pixel launcher. So if you rely on system navigation gestures, it's better to stick with the stock Pixel launcher. Now when it comes to default camera, Havoc OS provides a normal camera application that offers a few features. So I have installed the Gcam 7 which is much better than the stock camera and is capable of shooting high quality pictures in both natural and low light conditions. The front and rear camera both work as it should be and the rear camera lets you record a video of up to 4K at 30 frames per second and the front camera lets you shoot a video of 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now talking about the dark mode, the all new Android 10 system wide dark mode works as intended. You can enable or disable the dark mode right from the quick panel section. This dark mode is super impressive and it works with the third party supported applications which is much better than stock MIUI 11. Now it's time to talk about performance. I'm astounded by noticing the huge improvements to the ROM in terms of performance and stability. The brand new refined kernel delivers an impeccable performance throughout the system. This way the phone feels naturally super smooth in every application you open and maintains a decent battery level without compromising the performance. Now normal tasks are super snappy. It opens the applications a lot quicker now compared to previous versions. Just take a look at the speed of app launching and multitasking. Now talking about gaming, heavy games like PUBG and Call of Duty are super smooth. Unlike other Android 10 custom ROMs, there is a zero lag which I have noticed while gaming. And as you can see I'm playing the PUBG at HDR mode, the gameplay was unbelievable. Now thanks to the latest touch drivers of MIUI 11 based on Android 10, which indeed fixes the ghost touch issues and responds to touch inputs instantly. Now I forgot to mention Android 10 comes with a game driver preferences which is a present inside the developer settings where you can choose a different game driver per application. So when playing PUBG or Call of Duty, I recommend using the game driver setting which will deliver smoother frames and I believe it helps to render the frames much faster than ever. Overall, I would say Havoc OS 3.1 is definitely for gamers. It is an absolutely gaming ROM. Give it a shot and let me know in the comments down below about your experience of this ROM. Lastly, I ran a benchmark apps like Geekbench and Tutu, and these are the scores that I got on my phone. Now lastly, every ROM has its own downsides. Now in this ROM, I have noticed some minor hitting issues in the back. Keep in mind, this is not going to affect the gaming performance. 
Your device may get a warm up a little bit at the back next to the cameras while playing a big games at maximum settings. Again, this won't affect your gaming performance. Now this ROM has issues with fast charging. The input current entering into the device is very low. As per my testing, the maximum current which I have noticed entering into the device is around a 1400 to 1700 MA which is very low. Keep in mind these bugs will be fixed in the future releases of this ROM and it will not be persistent for longer periods. Now apart from that, normal features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, LTE, VoLTE, fingerprints, UPI applications, White Wine L1 works fine without any issues. So the bottom line of this video, Havoc OS is the most stable and powerful Android 10 custom ROM which delivers an impressive performance. If you are a gamer, then try this ROM for sure and you will like it. Thanks for watching this video. This is your boy KS Kirayo. I will catch you in my next one. Peace out.